Hi Flastu! Um, I have a very special video for you today. My friends Michelle and Maddie are here. Hi. Um, they came and did a video a couple years ago. Um, we didn't realize it's been two years and um, they've been saving all of their haul for this video. <laughs> no, just, just, um, for this video. just for this video. It's just like a trunk full. Um, but yeah, so they are going to show you some of their finishes and their whips and I think plans and maybe some haul and all that good stuff. Say it all over was. Um, you have to do it. No. It's your video. So, um, okay. So I think we're gonna get into it. I think, um, Michelle lost the draw and it's going first. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I first I'll be your time. kind of like holder. Um, if you're wondering why all three of us are in the frame is because these ladies were scared to be alone. I'm just gonna put that out there. <laughs> all right. So first we'll start out with some yes, FFOs. I'm gonna do my finishes. So this is a big one. Perfect. No, nope, right there. Okay. So Blackbird mm -hmm. Christmas Garden. Um, on and off about seven years it took me to finish this. I think. Really? That is really Maybe long. Maybe five years. I didn't know. Maybe it was five. Just... Yeah. Maybe five <laughs> years. I know. Man, you I need know. a stitch factor. <laughs> I know. I do. But um, I did get this finished with the help of doing the sampler September finish, and I just got back from a retreat at the attic with the Blackbird, so I took it there to. Um, put on the show table and so that was really nice to finally get that done. You want to talk about the materials? Um, it is done on 32 count. I used DMC floss. I think there's three colors and I do not recall the color of the linen. It's kind of a gold linen. It's kind of a wide wide weave. I'm never good at knowing if it's anything like that but that is my Finished for Christmas, so I got nice. to hang it on the wall. That was worth every bit of seven years. Yes. yes. Maybe five years. I don't even know if it's been out that long. But and then I finished this by Blackbird this Designs. Uh, so this was pretty. finished for last Christmas. I did this on a 22 count one over one. No, two over one. And so um finished that up. I just love this. I really am thinking about keeping that out all year long, too. I used just the DMC conversion on that, so it's a little bit brighter than in the out-of-print um, Blackbird book. So, sadly, it's Joya Noel. That's the name of the pattern? Yes. It's oh, gorgeous. Right. And then my final finish for the year is Vintage Birds mm -hmm. by Jeanette Douglas. This is done on, um, I'm not for sure what the count is, but it was a hand dyed fabric by Miss Maddie. And I used the DMC conversion for this one as well. I love that peacock. I know. Mm -hmm. So that, that is some great talk. I do love, job. Thank you. <laughs> I do love the birds. So it's yes. beautiful. Yes. <laughs> you, get, you get bold about so it. I know. Sure. Okay. And then I do. It's like if I don't see a page, I can say whatever I want. So now I think I will go into my haul. Ooh. I don't sing like mm. Miss okay. Olivia does. Um, I appreciate you calling it singing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just having got back from the uh, Blackbird retreat at the attic, I got some really pretty things. Started a lot of sales. Um, this one is Alice Beerton. 1885 by Samplers Not Forgotten. I'm going to be doing that mm, with um, Laura and Suzanne. Doing it on 56 count. Oh my god. With the um, the 103 silk. So I'm really excited. excited to see that. I haven't started that yet. Is that the first time you're doing that high of a count? Have yes. you done that high of a count before? I have not. I'm excited for you. But Miss Jean put it on a Q-snap at the attic and it really opened up the whole so mm -hmm. I think it'll be good mm -hmm. hopefully and then I got a Bristol sampler I haven't kitted this up yet don't know if I'm gonna do this maybe one over one I don't know That's I like it on the darker between. yeah yeah so I know I've got stuff my 2020 plans are Vintage stitching shampoo. from stash stash so I think I've got stuff at home that I can do that mm -hmm. she does have two exceptions to that rule Oh yes, okay. two exceptions, market, and then we're going to going, summer school. Going to summer school at the attic, so I will be. Comment down below if you're going to summer school. Woo! Yay. 
Come join our party table. Yes. yes. Or you'll know to avoid us. <laughs> <laughs> we will have fun. That one too. And then from Hands Across the Sea Samplers, I got Ann Thomas. Still oh, need so to kit this up. I'm, I think I'm going to do the silks on this instead of oh. DMC. It's a lot. You're looking at the back. I was looking, looking at, at the, the list. list of, oh. But the husband got a Christmas bonus this year, so. <laughs> Which that's is now gone. Gift. Perfect. Yes. Because yeah. Michelle's getting right. her silks. I'm getting silks and thank him. <laughs> and then oh, I've always loved love this. this. Everybody got that last, I think, market. Mm -hmm. So the attic had it all kitted up. So nice. I'm going so to be stitching. Yeah, I've heard people comment about how the fabric's much darker. Now. I love the darker. I, I like the darker too. I think it's gonna pop. I'm really excited about. I that. have that one too. So Sal, I'm Yolo. <laughs> we, have a lot of Sal's. we need to count how many Sal's we have together at this point. <laughs> I think maybe five. Uh, I think it's more than that. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I have about twenty whips, so it's probably about ten then. <laughs> That's a ridiculous amount. You wish. I know. <laughs> let's start. Everyone start. Uh... Up. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about. <laughs> Somebody's I just saw a cabinet. Yeah. We will call you out. We will call you out. And then I got this by Blackbird Designs. The winter past. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's going to go. I think it'll be a really good companion piece. I'm doing the um I'm the so birds, happy to finally have this in my The bag. birds <laughs> sampler, um, which I will show in a little bit. And then Ooh. I got this at the attic. It is a fun book about antique samplers. I like that. It was pretty funny because one person at the retreat purchased the book, and then all of us at the table all That's went what over happens. and you get hepped up, right? We did. We got get hepped up. up. Get hepped up. Yes. Where's my tab? So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. We should have done that. We should have done like we should have had a tab. Brenda um, too. So. Isn't that pretty? It's just fun to look at when you, look when at you don't want to stitch, size. but you have something to... Okay. I feel like if you put a quilt star on anything, I'm going to stitch it. Yeah. Yes. And then from the retreat, I know a lot of people have already showed yeah, these, so but my heart can rest. This was the... Um, we got to see the antique sampler, and it was so this was based on... Autographed. And it's autographed. So fun. And this is my oh my gosh start tiny but what fabric is that? This is um, Heartland. It's picture this plus thirty six count, I believe. I think this is their market, new right? one. Yeah, this nice. is their new yeah. fabric. It's so pretty. It so pretty. It's got like well, a greenish brownish. Ten like greenish other pieces. I don't know where they're. I just had them. You have one in your lap. Oh, they're there. <laughs> These are the other two. Um, this one was a it's the top of a box, and we got the primitive box to go along with that. Oh, you did get the box. Yes. Nice. And packed it in my suitcase. Unlike the other Blackbird designs, this has a house on it and a bird. <laughs> <laughs> that is so unusual. I know. Wow. I don't think I've, I've never seen that. I've known their patterns before. It's really, that's my small little start. <laughs> I love it. Who doesn't love a zigzag border? Mm -hmm. And then Autumn Abundance. This is a pumpkin that they Funky. stitched it on Funky separate fabrics and then I believe sewed them all together to be a pumpkin. And then they put a stick in it. And they did put a stick in it. <laughs> I think I'm going to make mine into a drum. Drum. Oh, that's cute. On one piece. That would be really cute. So, yeah. So, that is pretty much all of my haul that I brought. Awesome. I well, yeah, yes, that's it. And then um, for my birthday, when we were at the retreat, Kathy Ray from Needle in a Haystack, our local needle shop here, she's doing laser cutting. And so this is so a beautiful. wooden needle book that I that so had beautiful. made with the monogram for my first name. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice quality. And we all want them. Yes. And it's so customizable with, with your initial, yes. right? Yes. So the M can... on the front is from And then she has a couple of different fonts to choose from. There's different colored needle books. She's That's got so um, other little accoutrements. Accoutrements. So yes, that was 
that was my I think she one. did a video recently. Um, oh, did she? Yeah, about I think she... some of the needle. I haven't watched it oh, yet. Oh, fun. So watch it later. So now that brings us to whips and plans for the new year. Um, my oh. most recent sow I need to start it behind me. I think it's okay with my tablet. Okay, cool. I can edit this out. So starting this from we saw the finished piece of the um this is the Blackbird Designs Loose Feathers for the Bird series. And so there are nine total. And we are doing, doing them little, all on the one. With your, with your summer lady friends? Yes. Doing it with uh, Laura, Mud Mozart, and Suzanne, and Angela, Beautiful. 737 Stitcher. Hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. And Robin Sampler Bird. Hi, Hi Robin. Robin. <laughs> we do that the whole video. <laughs> Um, so that has been a oh, lot yeah, of fun. Oh, uh, those Ooh, colors are so yummy. I don't comb them as pretty as some of the other. Oh, and it's oh, just there. I didn't notice this earlier. <laughs> you I know. It's okay. We'll edit it. <laughs> but yeah. beautiful. I'm really enjoying that a lot. These colors are really sweet. And you see what a mess happens when you make a video and like everything comes Yeah, I now exactly. completely understand what people are talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Ooh. oh, I forgot my other kit. I just got, darn it. But I belong to the Country Sampler ABC School Sampler Girl. And so this is my whip of Maria Finney, 1832 by Shakespeare's Peddler. Is that on straw? Yes, I believe so. I like that. But not the new straw. Or is it the new straw? I don't see the... No, this is their old... Okay, so that's the older straw. I just really need to get back. It's the ABC School Girls Needlework Club. That's so pretty. Yeah, this was the first pretty. one. So I'm really excited and want to get back to that. That white house on there is going to look I know. amazing. Yeah. And another whip that I am doing is mm. Heartstring Samplery Forever Young. And I'm doing this with Megan, the white-eyed stitching child. And I just opted for, I think this is just like an even weave, and I'm doing the DMC. Mm -hmm. Beautiful colors. Yeah. I know. I think it'll just be nice and a happy little thing. Um, from my retreat... I got the new Blackbirds Little Birds, and I did a very small start. It's a very large pattern, but it's so pretty. Don't want to show the back like I always do. <laughs> That's my tiny little start. Did you say this is the Heartland one again? This is, yes. Mm -hmm. That's Heartland 36 count. Okay. And then these are... The flosses. No. I used to splay them correctly with the little ring in the front. Yes. Yeah, Compliments of Maddie. Love that. Try to keep this organized for you. And Olivia has inspired me to get back out Peace and Goodwill by Chessie and me. I was just very excited last year that my border matched and met yeah. up. That's really all you can ask for. And I agree the letters can be a little bit on the tedious side, but mm -hmm. once they get done, and I just dropped Oopsies. the needles, I dropped it. it will be, I'm looking forward to getting that finished. And once you see Maddie's, you'll understand why yeah. I want it finished. And... And then I've been working on. Uh, oh, I haven't seen this one. I know. This is the Adam and Eve from How Do I Compare Thee on, to a Summer's Day mm -hmm. booklet. Those colors. I, I think know. you're the only person I've seen working on this. No. Really? There's Have a... you seen other people? Yes. Really? Yes. Huh. But. Pretty. I try to keep an Adam and Eve going. All year long, because I have an Adam, Adam and Eve wall, squirrel, yeah, though. So I know this. Well, and the squirrel, I believe, I have to frog out because he's holding a nut, and I think it's in the wrong spot. 
so oh, no. can't have the nut yeah. in the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> I misplaced your nut. <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> so, and then my plans for plans. 2020 are to stitch from stash, other than the two events that I spoke of, or if you know, I Shit. win the lottery or I get a windfall of something. You're then, friends with Olivia. Yeah. Then I can <laughs> buy other than that. So from my stash, I pulled this by the Scarlet House. This is going to be my New Year start. That is so pretty. I know. Yes, we are going to see Every her time she, like, falls off my radar, the Scarlet House, something comes up, yeah. and it's her, and it's like... Where did she find yeah, the time? Yeah, I don't know. So, her pattern is amazing. That. That's beautiful. Thank you. And then, the last time I was at the attic, I ended up getting this piece of 32 count nougat, and I'm going to do the Bells of Christmas mm. Day one over one. Mm. That's crazy. So that will be, be crazy hopefully pretty. by next Christmas I'll have that done. Man, that checkered house. I know. Yep. A house and a bird. Sucker for a checkered house. Is there a bird? Probably. Please tell me there's, there's a bird. There's, there's, yeah, two, yeah, there's oh, three birds. Bird. Okay. This yeah. one's got a dog in it, I think. Speaking of dogs, that's all. It's lovely the... when your dog is licking it. <laughs> He's a camel. So far, camel. <laughs> we won't I... tell Dusty. No. And I think that's all. Yeah? Yay. Awesome. All right. I'm going to stop it and then restart for you just so we can, like, shift a pile. Yeah. Okay. Maddie. All right. Uh, so I guess I'm going to start with finishes first because who doesn't like to see a finish? Um, so my first one, I started this last, was it last year? Birthday sale. I guess, yeah, last year after oh, we came back right. from December the uh, primitive Christmas retreat at the attic. Um, this is just the Peace and Goodwill Simpler from Chessie and Me. And I think she just released this to the yes. public. Yes. Oh. So, yeah. So, Mom Michelle showed it, and then Olivia showed it yesterday on her video. Um, so, this is my finished one. Way to show us up. <laughs> I actually, like, sometimes I start one, and then, like, I can't help myself. You like, were I just, Yeah, you busted this I, one. I, I did. I kind of got obsessed with it. Um, so, it's just the called for colors and fabric that she provided, and I just, I adore it. Um, so eventually I need to get it, to get it framed. Yes. Um, because I do love busy. it. Um, yeah, I really like her patterns. Me I don't know. Too. So, it's um, magical. this was a finish I had earlier this year. So this is from the Blackbird book in Friendship's Way, which unfortunately I think is that a print? just went out of print. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. You might still be able to yeah, I'm sure you can still find them. Um, sure. So this is the 1861 antique sampler. I always forget about this. Yeah. I need to do this. And I did change a couple of the colors. Um, mine's a little bit more bold. And I want to say that this is on a color and cotton fabric. I don't remember the color, um, but it's definitely a 32 count. And when I was stitching it, I was really unsure of the colors. Um, even until I got almost close to the end, I was like, I don't know if I like this. But then as soon as it was finished and I like stepped away from it, I absolutely adore it now. Yeah, so um, yeah, I I want to get a pretty black frame for that. And really I think it'll really make nice. everything pop really nicely. Yeah. So I didn't know you were born in 1861. I was. Oh, you look good for your age. Thank you, I try really hard. <laughs> it's stitching, it keeps me young. Young soul. Yes. Uh, oh, this so this was a finish favorite. from last year, and I say finish, I still have uh, to add my daughter's initials to it. Um, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's the first time I've said, like, my daughter, which was Aww. really weird. Um, but this is from the End Blossoms as the Rose book by Blackbird Designs, and it's just the um, the Quaker family. Is it Quaker? Just Quaker the family, family register. Reg yeah. Um, and I, I feel like if... Like, I don't know. This you is were a totally, sampler, yeah. this would be you. This, if, <laughs> yeah. if I was a sampler, this would be me. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, but this one just spoke to me that as soon as I saw yeah. it, and, and I love it. Um, kind yeah, of a delicate floral. It with the finishes. Yeah. Well, this is over the course of two years, so. But still. Um, and I really busted my butt to uh, get some finishes out before I had Viv, because I knew as soon as she came, I would, <laughs> I would have very diminished time. So... Um, all right, so this next one is from the sisters book. Um, I think one of the coolest blackbird design books, kind of unique. Yeah. I love um, so this one is at first Cox Crow, 
uh, I finished this this Halloween um, and the only thing I did change was on the original one there's like a, a full moon and it's got like a face in it and I just yeah, I that wasn't that wasn't me Funky moon. Um, yeah so I went ahead and just changed that to a crescent moon um, and I did mine on Oh, Havana? Havana. Havana, that's yeah. what it is. That's right. And I really liked the dark fabric and then the pop of the orange and the and I did change a couple of colors. Um I think the fragrant cloves I changed out. It's still a really bright orange, but not quite as bright. Yes. Um so again, some of the frame. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then my last finish. Um this was a kit. Uh, from La Di Da and it's called Garden Birds Toolkit. I haven't quite finished it into fully finished it into the toolkit yet, um, but I definitely plan that's on cool. doing that. Um, and this I, I stitched. Like you have a lot of stuff left over too. That's like finish. the finishing material, but yeah, yeah the nice. the floss. A lot of floss. Yeah, it's silk actually, um, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I did this. This is again on a piece of color and cotton. And I, sh I wish I remembered the names of these colors, but everything's on my Instagram. I keep really good track of it on there. So um, the only thing about this is that I did my initials, the M and the P, upside down on accident. <laughs> so I'm still debating if I want to uh, rip those out because it's going to get, even. it gets folded in half like this. And so my initials would be upside down, but I don't know if I care that much. Um, I'm, I'm willing to embrace the, uh, what does Kitten Stitcher call it? Oh, wabi-sabi. Wabi-sabi. Yeah. I'm willing to embrace that uh, for the sake of not having to frog and restitch. So I like that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. It. it makes it uniquely mine, right? Um, whips. So, yeah. So, those are my finishes. All right. Oh. So, I'll jump into my whips. Um, so, this is one. I was hoping to work more on it this Christmas, but I didn't really get as much time on it as I wanted. I started this one last year uh, after going to the attic and getting inspired. They actually have this stitched up there um, on the 5260. Is it 5260? I feel like yes. I'm always saying that wrong. No, on the 5260 um, vintage pair. And it was so gorgeous. Yeah. I had to do it. Um, so that is what I'm doing. Um, it's my first time stitching on fabric that high. And there are days where it feels really easy and days where it feels really hard um I'm stitching it in hand so oh are you using magnification yeah magnification and light I and it's really weird I'm nearsighted so I actually stitch better when I don't have so my contacts tiny. in and I don't wear my glasses Look I can see it a lot better tiny. Um, so tiny. but yeah that's on vintage pair and I love it the Tudor silks yes right? Tudor that's silks because I think they said that those are the only ones that would like fit Wow. Um, so it's really pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah. It just takes a lot of concentration. Um, it's not something that I can like casually do and watch floss tube in the background. I have to really focus on it. So, um, you've done a lot then. That's been hard for, yeah. hard for me to do. So that's that. Um, this one is my current whip. I say current. It's just the one I've been working on most recently. Um, this is A Merry Heart by Plum Street. Um, and Hollis Hands Create, um, she has a floss tube and this sits in the background uh, of her floss tube videos and I just love it every time I see it and it, she inspires me to want to get it done. Yeah, um, so. Michelle's stomach's growling. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first yet. time in a week I felt hungry. Really? <laughs> right? Yes, I've just been eating a little <laughs> Christmas piggy. So there's that. <laughs> And that's so on, beautiful. That's on Ale. Yeah, you guys should check out Hollis Hands Creates. She has a new channel. Yes. She's got some awesome stuff. Yes, and she also has an Etsy store. Right. She sells patterns and all beautiful. kinds of fun stuff. Checkered house is so She's from cool. Missouri, right? Um, I think or, she lives in Texas. Oh, Texas. Yeah. I think she's from Missouri, though, to begin with or something. Maybe. Yeah, I think they were... Are they talking about being in Branson? Am I making that up? I think so. I don't know. She's probably like watching or maybe she's not watching but she's probably like oh that's weird but um yeah she's she's really cool you guys should definitely check out her her channel if you get a chance um so this next one is i don't have a picture because it's it was a download from uh sub rosa's etsy but this is pumpkin heart um and it's really cute it's finished into a i won't say little heart because it actually ended up being a lot bigger than what i thought it was going to be um 
but it's finished into a heart and it's it's really cool so i'm oh, gonna nice. do it like that um but yeah those houses man yeah, that was, and the pumpkins i always the underestimate pumpkins. The, the amount of time oh, that yeah. those houses take to stitch but yeah the pumpkins i just kind of like the graphic design of it i don't know super it's, cute yeah it's different i got a dark oh were you able to see it through it okay yeah, and that's on um Oaken. Our picture is <sighs> Oh, you didn't fold the stitching out, did you? Gosh, no. She did. She I did not. No. <laughs> yeah, You're I'm in trouble. I'm notorious for doing that, unfortunately. <laughs> um all right. So this is Hello. another Plum Street. Hello. Hello. Winter. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Which we don't really get here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was just in Kansas City for Christmas, and it was like 60 degrees. It was Aww. like the second warmest Christmas on record. It was ridiculous. So I was a little sad. So yeah, I'm still calling you out got to down winter. to the 40s the other day. I know. It was colder here than it home. was. Yeah, it was colder here. So um, again, another piece of color and cotton. Um, it's a really pretty, like, goes. oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's a really pretty, like, That's kind nice. of slate. It's so pretty. Um, wintry, the colors are so wintry color. Pretty. She is a very talented designer. I love all of her stuff. But yeah, that one really makes me happy. The red. That's good. Yeah. All right. A uh, couple more webs. So this one is a Liberty Rose, and it's from probably my favorite black. Bird book. Wow. Which is the sweet I know. That's a lot. I I love every pattern That's in this true. one. Um so this is Sweet Land of Liberty and then Liberty Rose. Sorry, I don't know. I feel like I'm okay. cutting your face off. Um oh, except you don't really show the tour. Yeah, sorry. And then I'm actually doing it on the two separate pieces of fabric because I love that. Um I know some people aren't oh, yeah. like a fan this of that. This is one of our cells. Yes. This is one of our cells. <laughs> You're a lot farther along than I am. Um so I'm working does on. That, the does that make you angry? Side. No. Okay. <laughs> She's younger. <laughs> so, it's a little bit too far. So yeah, this is the bird side. Ugh, I'm just not getting that into so that bird. Pretty. And it's crazy because there's only three colors, and like when you look at it, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like a multi-colored yeah, right. thread, but it's three different yeah. colors. But they kind of the way they charted it. Kind of models together really well which is right cool. it looks if it was like a thread with all those colors uh -huh. it would not look that pretty yeah mm -hmm. but it's very like um vintagey yes i know it reminds me of like an old post stamp postage stamp or something yeah yeah really good so oh all right save the best for last and then this oh, one big. another sow that we have going that's right <laughs> this may be one of our oldest sows it is and it's gonna be my give up <laughs> oh yeah you're giving up on it I think so. Are you really? It's okay. It's I, I, I'm okay with it. It's a big piece. It's a big I mean, if you're not like if you're not feeling it, I, I think no it's the fabric in. I chose. So every time I look at it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll I just look through you have, yours. There's there's so many beautiful charts out there. What are we talking about? Yeah. yeah. A gold, a gold welcome. welcome. So Emily C actually uh, started this She's one. It. Yeah, yeah, and she is killing it. She's like all the way. Oh, she's already got that first chunk yeah. done, which is amazing. Um, and Olivia, I'm actually doing what you suggested a long time ago, and I'm not stitching the Agul Tide Welcome Good to the, and I'm cutting off the grass and then moving the bottom border up. Good. Um, gotcha. Just because I'm not about that life. I so. actually suggested to Emily that perhaps just filling the house in with a Sharpie, that oh. she would be fond of that idea. So. Why, why ever not? Do that. I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm, you know, right. I think I'll do. That. I've gotten pretty just, far. I'm gonna frame the pattern. <laughs> I like that idea. I'll finish. So then be like a frame within yeah. a frame. And then, yeah. yeah. And there you go. Oh, yeah, that's, that's even all... better. Just photocopy yeah. each other's finishes. That's like, true. Them. That's we'll true do. friendship. Yeah. That's, that's true. a Barb and Alan cross stitch thing. friendship. That's a Barb and Alan <laughs> thing. I'll do it. Oh my gosh. And then here we go. So I want to say oh, this. Wow. Is Look at that. Vintage country mocha. So, so, and with the house, I've been working on the house for, I don't know, over a year. Um, and so this year I just decided that to make it for, feel more manageable, I was just going to like block it off into chunks. And then, so if I sat down one night, I could just do a little 
block of it and then I would feel like I accomplished something rather than aimlessly stitching um but you can see like in the roof and stuff too like I start the stitches one way and then I'm like oh I'll fill it in later but then it'll it's take it's funny me looking at the year. back I can tell like you, you did part of it like going for, like vertically I and did, then horizontally I did. That's what I, and, oh, I was in the and I did part of it like the sewing so boring, started, going the same direction yeah I did like... the sewing method for part of it too and then I gave up on that because I was not good at that um like my mm-hmm. what is it the hollyberry farm one uh-huh. like there's yeah it's there's like x is done individually there's yep. x is done in rows there's like yeah there's um in hand there's in q snatch it's like it's so boring the houses it's are no changing joke, it up so this house is no joke they're an endurance no joke. but they're it is going to be endurance. so amazing when it's done yeah so i might add this um into my plans for this upcoming year just because i really do love it um, and I really like to get it up on my wall. Yeah, it won't be finished awesome. by 2020, but it that's will. Okay. I don't think. I so. think it will be. I still got that border, and that border is no joke either. You just do. That goes you all can the way do around. it. So okay, you go focus, come babysit. Focus, focus. Sure. <laughs> sure. I, I just need a couple do. hours a day. I that's will it. summary from the website marketwatch.com. Okay. The average hourly babysitting rate has climbed to sixteen dollars and forty three cents for one child. To find out more, look for the link. Did your is that Alexa? Did one of you call each other Google? <laughs> okay, Google. I said, "Do you want to come babysit?" And then it went off, and it gave me babysitting rates. <laughs> oh my god, I was so creepy. <laughs> I will do babies. Yes, babysitting all day long. That's actually I'm hilarious. Not letting Google babysit. No, <laughs> no, baby. no, no, ba- no Google. <sighs> so. What right. are your plans then? All right. Oh, yes. Ooh, let's got... talk plans. So, so haul or do you want to do haul first? I'll do plans first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I posted this on Instagram a couple weeks ago. Um, but after watching all of the beautiful floss tube videos this year and just seeing all the gorgeous samplers that are out there and all the sampler walls, um, I decided that 2020 that. is going to be my year of dreaming of a sampler wall. Um, and dreaming being the operative word because we all know how long that stuff takes. Um, so I am starting one new sampler a month, uh, for each of the 12 months. Um, and I guess I shouldn't say starting cause a couple of them are already ongoing whips that I have, but, uh, I would say probably 60% of them are going to be new and then 40%, um, I had to do math there, <laughs> are going to be, um, whips. So that is my plan. So I'm just going to show you some of the um, stars that I have planned. And I do have a couple of empty slots open because I know I'm sure that at market and uh, throughout the year I'll see samplers that I absolutely have to have and start right now because I know myself and I just know that that's how I work. Um, so this one I actually I plan on starting this year, but I pulled the colors and I hated them. <laughs> so it's going to take me some time to... Um, to pick new colors and I've never seen this one before it's Jane Baxter 1838 by Victorian Rose Needle Arts I love it. I'll have you pull that up while I pull out the colors um yeah it's got turkey it does have mm-hmm. turkeys which is really exciting to me and I think that Stephanie Lindy stitches needs a stitch as well because turkeys oh. so um shoot yeah definitely but um, um, looks, okay so it's MPI with DMC conversion. right so I pulled the DMCs because I can't, I'm not rich enough for those <laughs> MPIs, especially after having to kid up that Ann Thomas that we're going to have yes. to do. So um, these were just some of the colors. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. But Devin just needs to get a bonus. Right? Right? Devin needs a bonus. <laughs> or Rob needs another bonus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, they're just way too bright for me. These are just not, these are not my jam. They're not Maddie colors. No, these are not my jam. So I need to prim it out a little bit. Super yeah. Um, I should just call... Uh, country sampler yeah. mm-hmm. since they're geniuses with priming things up yeah you um, can get it up from them yeah that's a great idea so that one i'm really excited about and it's not too too big which is nice ah, yeah weekend. you know uh so this one is a whip that i currently have going and i love it but yeah, it is so a big big please finish girl. this this is a big mother. i definitely will uh, so this is Ragamuffin number two, a Quaker sampler, and it's by Shakespeare's Peddler. Um, mm. oh, I just love it so much. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think I'm doing this on vintage Mo- um, maple. Ma- maple maple sugar. sugar. That's what it is. I got this from the attic, and it's 40 counts. Yes. I love this fabric. And then here it is. And 
one change I did make was that some of the letters, these right here, I went ahead and changed them to eyelids because I'm a sucker for an eyelid. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it just really adds a little bit of, you know, oomph to it. So this is one page, actually a little bit more than a page. Um, and I think there's How many like, pages? I think six, seven. Oh, you can get that done this year. It's a, it's a big one. <laughs> so, um... Good job. But yeah. Inside. Oh, yeah. Right? Inside. God, fix her ways. So that'll be on my list. We're gonna fix her. Yeah. Thank you. You guys are such good friends. Mm -hmm. Take care of me. <laughs> I know nothing. Teach me your ways. <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> Michelle already showed this one. This is just Little Birds. I'll be doing that one too because I love it. So pretty. And it's not a year. It's, a big it's, it's not a year without a blackbird designs pattern. Mm -hmm. So, what are your plans for kitting like the ones up that aren't whips? Are you gonna do it throughout the year? Yeah, gonna... I have plenty of fabric, so I probably won't be using the call for fabric. I I don't do that too often anyway, because um, I'm really I I like darker fabrics. But usually, everything I convert to a darker fabric. This is a big one. Yeah, it's, it's a big very one. Three ninety five by three thirty nine. I did not realize. Yeah, it's huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw your fabric for it. It's massive. Yeah. Um, it's and one thing that I really like about Blackbird Designs, um, and that we were talking about earlier, is that they reuse a lot of their colors, uh, of floss. So it's really nice because once you've stitched a lot of them, you already have like this stockpile of of colors that they usually use. Um, so hopefully, I have quite a bit of of those already. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So, so I, I need to start using some of my fabric stash. So, yeah. All right. So this one is going to be my January 1st start. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Um, this is by the traveling stitcher and it's, I don't know how to, E. Blossier. 1855. Blosser. <laughs> e. Blosser. Um, <laughs> Yeah, by the Traveling Stitcher, and I got that at the attic. Um, and I know that Schoolhouse Stitcher is stitching that right now. I don't can't remember if she's finished or not yet. Oh, that's right. She got um, that too. And I'm stitching this one on 46 count vintage light exemplar by oh. Lakeside. That's gonna be pretty. Um, and then I have a couple of the colors, not quite all of them. I have a whole mix of DMC and silk, and <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's just whatever all your I heart. can find. Yeah. That's right. So. It's um, charted for DMC slash MPI. Mm -hmm. So I think I kind of mixed. I think I pulled the MPIs at the attic and then um, oh. what I could convert to DMC that looked similar, I chose. That doesn't look very big either. It's not very big and 46 count will be even smaller. So I'm super excited about it. I'm so that'll be started you. in what? Two days. Oh my God. Two yeah. days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. You better get busy. Ugh. All right, so Take this next one, there. what naps? <laughs> All right. uh, this next one is a whip as well. This was a gift from a very kind friend, um, Darlene, who's Ohio Stitcher on Instagram. I love everything that she does, and she very nicely um, purchased this for me and sent it to me. Aww. So it's Our Lasting Friendship by Blackbird Designs. Nice. Um, and I love this one. I am stitching it on, let's see. Here, come back. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this is 40 Count Bramble by Picture This Plus, and I love this mm -hmm. fabric. Um, and I'm just doing the called for colors on this one. And this one is a decent size so little print. It's pretty big. Sorry for the Called for colors DMC or Weeks? No, uh, or Weeks, I okay. think. Yeah. No, Classic Color Works. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really pretty colors. Bra a lot of browns and greens. Um, very prim. This is very your The color. colors that make Elena gag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that I absolutely yeah, adore. But... Sorry, Elena. <laughs> I'll, I'll work on it, but not really, because I love those colors. Um, yeah, these are them right here. A lot of yeah. greens and very browns pretty. and every shade of taupe Brown. and tan that mm. you could possibly find. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they're really pretty. I like that green. Yeah, That'd be I a like good prank if we too. broke into Lena's apartment and painted <laughs> just, the whole thing. Let's <laughs> just, just switch out green. all of her floss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we know where she keeps it in that floss. Either that or let's subscribe her to the, um, the primitive, the Victorian motto, oh, the Sandler the Primitive yeah. Floss primitive Club. Yeah, and just have them shipped to her every month. She'd like that. <laughs> um... All right, and then these are going to be two additional new starts. So this one is Needlework Press 
uh, the Busy Little Bee sampler. I absolutely love this one. Um, yeah. These ladies will get you stitching all the needlework press. Needlework no, press has I some awesome it. patterns. Yeah, and not only amazing. patterns, but her Instagram is just full of mm -hmm. You got to see the original, too. It was... Did you really? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I mean, they have all their models in yes. the attic. Yeah. And they're just beautiful. Yeah. I want to tour her house because it just oh, looks yeah. like it would be exquisite. Um, and I love that she pulls motifs out of samplers, too, and does a lot with those. Um, cause she just did a freebie for Christmas, mm -hmm. which was super cute. I stitched that one up and it was really pretty. Um, and then this one I'm so excited about, uh, this will be my birthday start in September and Thomas. Um, I know everyone loves this one and I'm no different. Um, oh, just amazing. the flowers and the birds and the colors. And I just love the corner. Do you want like, to use the called for fabric or what are you thinking? I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty dark in the picture. I don't know what it is. Um, I thought it was a bad swap. No, the fabric. Oh, I have it on order. I don't. And the I can't sampler remember. was reproduced. Does it say? It just no. says thirty-six count. Forty-six. 40, 40, 40, oh. Oh, oh, I, I guess they give different. Oh, okay. Yeah, different, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Ignore me. I don't know. Yeah. It looked really pretty on this, like straw. Mm-hmm. Uh, or. Mm -hmm. I don't know, even... I'm always doing it on a dark brown. Yeah, ooh, that'd be pretty. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I'm a sucker for those Blue. dark fabrics. Just <laughs> kidding, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> on your wall, you, you would purple. totally do Royal it on purple. Um, so yeah, I love that one. That's nice. That's gonna be gorgeous. And I get Rob's bonus next year, oh. so... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, and then for just a couple of alternatives, I'm not sure. These are two that I have that I both really love. So the Bells on Christmas Day by Blackbird Designs and then Anna Grader 1812 um, by Scarlet House. I've had this one forever and yeah. I love I it. It's already started. Me too. No, I I had, someone did it over one right. uh, yeah. and it was so pretty. So I may consider doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. And then obviously everything that Blackbird Designs comes out with, I absolutely adore. Gorgeous. So, yeah, gorgeous. Oh, and then you had two more in your lineup. Oh, yes. Pictures for uh, yeah. So the first one is Hannah Carter, uh, and that's a reproduction by Shakespeare's Peddler. It's, um, she's shown it in her video. I'm starting that in February. Uh, with Megan, the wide-eyed stitching child. We're going to start that one together, um, and it's black. It's pretty much all black except for a couple. There's like some tan at the bottom and it's really pretty. It's got uh, an alphabet and then an, a nice little saying at the bottom and then a Christmas tree and a butterfly or a moth, I guess. I'm not really sure which one. Um, but so we'll be starting that in February. I love that one. Should go quick. And then, um, oh, the, is it Hannah Bradbury? What's the name of that? Uh, yeah, I've got it up really quick. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Um, Harriet Burry Sampler. Really and it's great. from Sampler and Antique Needlework. Put a picture in um, here. I had never seen it before. I'll put a picture in here. 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 Are you done yet? Did you put it in? It was there. It was wonderful. Uh, and it's, yeah, just really muted earth tones. And it's got this gorgeous giant house of course and um like this kind of wrought iron gate um it's scrumptious i love it's it scrumptious. so um that would probably be a fall sampler because that reminds me of very much fall and into winter um so yeah if you see any of those and you want to sell with me let me know um or if you just want to follow along with me on instagram i post on there pretty frequently um so yeah those are my plans for next year and then the last thing I have uh, is just some haul. Um, that's about as close as I'm going to get to doing what you do. Uh, so these were a couple of Christmas gifts that I picked out for myself and had my mom <laughs> buy for me. Um, and I was inspired by Hyde Cram. I think she showed one of these, uh, one of these books on her floss tube. And I, of course, had to have it. And I will say um, that... I looked on Amazon for these and they have at least one, but they were a little bit pricey. So I ended up getting mine off of abebooks.com um, and they came straight from Germany and they were definitely a more reasonable price. So um, they are both 
uh, by the same author and I'm not even going to attempt to say her name or the title of the books because it's French and I'm from the Midwest and <laughs> uh, we don't do French very well. So I'll show you uh, a couple of the books and I've marked a couple just to show you that I really like. So this is the first one. Um, and they're all Say red. It, Olivia. They're all red samplers. Les Marquars, Nicole, <laughs> Muriel Burnett, <laughs> et Fran Francois Ritz. Exactly. Yeah, that's how I would have pronounced it as yes. well. So I think you're right. Um, so yeah. So this one's really cool. And then I'll show you a couple of them in here. So this one is just called Louise. Um, it's really pretty. It kind of reminds name, me. Right? No, it is not. It's my grandmother's name, so maybe okay. I'll do that in honor of her. Um, it reminds me of that Stacey Nash. That's a good guess. Do you know the Stacey Nash I'm talking about? Uh huh. The yes. pillow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Where it's on both sides, or it's... yeah, and then she has like the full sampler, mm -hmm. I think, too. Um, so that one's really pretty. I like that one a lot. And then another one I like, adequately named Madeline. Oh. But spelled the French way, is um, like the cookie. Like, <laughs> Exactly, is this one right here? So I really like that one. Right. I don't know if I'm showing you. You're doing you're okay. perfect. Right. Right. So those are a couple from there. And then this one is by the same author. Um, and this one has a lot in it that what I really is like. Petits Rogues. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's it. Yep. Good. Yep. Petits, petits, petits Rogues. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Her adults. Yeah. Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> so this... Lose off the tongue. <laughs> Go. Um, this one is actually done in black, and I really like that. Um, so I may do a couple of them in black, too, because I think they look really striking. What'd you say? <laughs> what you say? Like it was in my soda. <laughs> um, mm, a little boozy. This one is Octavia. I think it's really Ooh, pretty. That one's pretty. Yeah. Complete with dice Are you doing and that a one chess first? piece. Yeah. I don't know, I might. I really I like, like it. I like that one. I do like it. And these, um, I don't usually keep uh, the initials or the name of the people who did it, but I feel like for these, I definitely would because it mm. just kind of. I think makes the pieces. Do you have like a, um, a red in mind or? I don't. Do I've been watching, after ones? watching uh, Michelle Farm Girls reflects right. de soi, um, <laughs> her advent calendar and seeing all the beautiful reds yeah. that she's gotten, all the red silks. And then obviously Brenda and Laura. Did you see and... that like white kit that mm -hmm. she got? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That actually, was. Actually, I think um, Kathy sells like little silk packs. Yes. Of oh yeah, someone of who's getting colors. those. I can't remember now. Someone's get someone is it Heidi? Heidi? Yeah, yeah, I think Heidi that's Crane. right. Okay. Yeah, Heidi Cran. Yeah. She was getting them um from uh, Needle in a Haystack. They have like so maybe Rob. Yeah. What you want to know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Man. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. He he really takes care of us he's all, doesn't guy. he? Yeah. Sister wives. Sister wives. <laughs> uh this one's really cool. I don't know if you can see that one's kind of like a multicolored, but I may do it in red. Um, oh, I know I liked this one because her name was Hedwig, and I think that that is oh, a very cool name. Very cool. Um, and then this one, oh. Eleanor, <laughs> yeah. but the French way. And this one I think is really cool because you get to <laughs> That's not how you spell it in America. <laughs> it's not. Eleanor. El Eleanor. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh but this God. one, you get to practice different specialty stitches, and I'm all about specialty stitches, so I really like that one. That's um, nice. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. So, I'm sorry. We sound really ignorant. <laughs> I mean, we kind of are. It's just you. But... We sound intelligent. <laughs> okay, it's just me. I sound for really yourself. Um, I don't, yeah. The French know how to do it. Oh, they great. just know how to do everything, so... <laughs> They're better. She's about but, yeah. to lose it over here. <laughs> we gotta wrap this up. You need to eat. <laughs> food. Your blood sugar is dropping. It is. So, yeah. So, I'm that saving was... a couple of spots uh, in my sampler year for those two because those are all beautiful. And I'm currently breaking the law of no red samplers. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I can't wait for your sampler year. It's very yes. enabling. These are my two top enablers. Very dangerous. I blame her for everything. Yeah. I 
Yeah. You're like the o- you OG guys. enabler. Ooh. So. <laughs> and I am the oldest. <laughs> it's my prim stitchers. Prim yes. stitcher sisters. That's right. So, yeah. Oh, all right. That's everything for me. All right. Well, I, I think, like, ladies. three times the amount that you did. It's okay. So that's sorry. okay. No problem. Maybe you should that's have your okay. own channel. No. Yeah. <laughs> all right, everyone. The video stopped right at the perfect moment. Um. And we just want to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And I'll, put their, I'll put their Instagram handles in so you can follow. They post all their wonderful works there. So, all right. Love bye.